Oh, it's the entire class, uh, I almost called it class D, because I'm so used to class being with the elite, but it's the, uh... Look at the owl's eye, he's always pointing towards Elizabeth. Look at him, he's just straight looking at her ass the entire time, dude. No, oh, they <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Irumakun. Last episode, we had just more prep, more setup for this, you know, festival. This little party that we're supposed to have where it's supposed to be all fun and games. And we're supposed to showcase each other, you know, battlers' preparations to the themes of what their club is about. And we have a fireworks and we're also, you know, explode some pretty fireworks and, like, you know, uh, amaze everybody. But there's some... There's actual plot happening now. We have an antagonist force in the sense of Kiryu and Bal. I still don't really know where Kiribo is. Bal seems to be, he just like, he's just straight up telling us, let's destroy the school. He's probably bad. I mean, he's the one that decided to get Sullivan in prison so that he can be uh, out of the play so that we can do the attack so that Sullivan can't just come here and just save us. But I still believe, just as Opera said, no matter what, he will make his promise, right? He will commit to his promise and he will show up just in time for Edom's fireworks, I think. Think. Now, if that's the case, then that means we probably already settle the antagonist by the time Sullivan comes because it feels like kind of like a cop-out for him to come here and just save the day immediately. Or maybe he does. Maybe it's a combined effort. I don't really know, but Sullivan will show up eventually. Kitty, well, where is his mind at? Because at first we were all... Maybe it wasn't we because you guys have already fucking watched this and I'm just watching this thing. Oh, he's such a good guy. He wants to close a power gap. He wants equality for all in the form of magical apparatus so that demons without magic can compete. This really resonates with Niruma and they both have a lot of values that align with each other except the evil part. What the fuck? I mean, I guess we're demons. We're supposed to be evil, but what the fuck is going on with Kitty? Well, he's down to just destroy... The school, maybe this is all for the sake of his goal of closing the power gap. And maybe he's being misled by Bal. I don't know exactly how down he is with destroying the school, but I still haven't given up on him. Maybe there's a road of uh, atonement and redemption because when Irumo was specifically talking to Kiribu in the secret room about his dreams, about how great they are and how it really touches his heart, right? Kiriwo, his eyes fucking just like brighten. He's like, damn. And at that moment, I was like, maybe, maybe there is a chance that we can have him redeem himself because Iruma convinces him to turn his back against his big bro. How did they fucking get in contact? I don't really know. The seeming, it's, it seems like we, like the, like as soon as the bell hits, we're supposed to do a large explosion and cause a big casualty within like the campus, right? And it seems like it's going to be happening at the top of the secret room because apparently there's, it's, it's soundproof and they also can't see us so and it's in, you know we can see everybody down below maybe that's the prime spot where we're gonna do an attack we're gonna get the beginnings of our first serious arc i think and i'm pretty excited let's get started with today's episode the party eve meaning this is another prep preparation episode <sighs> party eve meaning like the party's tomorrow so this episode isn't gonna be the one where it's the attack on babylon then all right, it's really ramping up. It's really setting up for this arc. I'm down. <laughs> what is this outfit? It's pretty cute. Okay, yes, Clara. Oh, oh it's... <laughs> he's not upset us this time because we're actually cosplaying as him. Usually he's out with the bamboo stick trying to like skewer us. You don't know we'll eat all this. In there he is. He's going to eat this immediately. What? One gulp. Can I eat this? This is like a sample for him. Yeah. Yeah, and he's gonna ask for more after. He's gonna ask for seconds and thirds, and it's already gone. It's already gone. It's crazy! Like, the reasoning is, he was starved as a kid because of his shitty parents back on Earth. But, like, you can't explain how fast he's able to eat and how often he's able to eat. Like, it, it that kind of starvation doesn't carry over. Like... But then again, it's just anime logic. Who is this? It's Jazz? It's Jazz, right? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Fellow classmate. Doesn't say his name. Oh, it's the entire class. Uh, I almost called it class D because I'm so used to class being with the elite. But it's the... Uh... Look at the owl's eye. He's always pointing towards Elizabeth. Look at him. He's just straight looking at her ass the entire time, dude. No, oh, they <laughs> Sexual harassment is not a joke, but I get it. This is like a running gag, right? 
That man's got his priorities straight. The idol! The idol! That's her! Okay, so it's pretty much fucking confirmed. It's pretty much confirmed from episode one on the news bulletin board. She was always pissed off whenever Iruma was there. However, it's because the idol was in the bottom left corner that always got outshined by Iruma. She is the one, right? It's common theme that the idol is always in the disguise to not, you know, stand out. She is the one, right? Or am I wrong? Kablui, don't don't tell them the plans. But they don't know what Kablui means. <laughs> what is this? A new fucking uh measures to deal with Claire? <laughs> Just send her away. She's coming back, right? What the fuck? I really think no one knows what the fireworks are. This is gonna blow everybody up. What <laughs> way Claire's back so fast? Ten seconds after the fuse is lit. But it's just not gonna... It would suck if we lit the fire... Oh, oh, Clara, 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 Clara... Wait, 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 not now! Stop! <laughs> no, 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 no! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's not coming out, wait, what kind of fire is this? What the f... Wait! Or did we just not have... Gunpowder in the... That was a good test run, to be honest. Thank goodness you knew. No, this was actually a QA. What? No, Clara, you just like covered a important failure. Imagine if we did that during the party day, though. That was a good test. <laughs> he made oh yeah. Oh, the shell wasn't in there. Okay. Huh. Kiriwo. Kiriwo took the shell. Kiriwo took the shell to do what with it? He's gonna use that as an attack? There it is. So it's in the secret room as I've said. Soundproof and vision proof. So the shell is used as the attack onto the campus when the bell rings. I love how he always slicks his hair back whenever he goes to evil mode. The necklace is gonna play a part in this? It's gonna release energy and do what? And whose energy is stored in there? Is it himself that's being restrained or bows? He's really good at chess. This is not an interrogation. He seems like he's a very peaceful fellow, but why would he go to Earth? Well, to get the next Demon King. And that's the law. Holding a human. They have documentation on Iruma. Bal was the one that leaked it all. How did he get all this intel from? My little birdie, Kitty Wolf? But how would Kitty Wolf know that he's a human? Oh. I mean, these cards are, I guess they should be intimidating, but I don't know, they just look like NPCs to me. <laughs> you can't stop Sullivan with these fucking NPCs, man. You It's rather rude to keep on solving. That's how much respect they have for the great three eye. Amiri is- Oh, the fireworks. She's so excited for it too, probably, right? Does she even know what that contraption is, actually? We need to find the shell. If we don't have the shell, she needs to see the fireworks. I want there to be some kind of confession scene that gets silenced by the fireworks between Iruma and Amiri, though. Just like in the shoujo manga. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my bad. Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm not stalking my cute little translator or anything. That's right, we must be more diligent. But she's right! She is right, but little does she know. You're so excited. She's so excited about this. But she can't prevent the attack from happening. She's gonna have to react pretty quick. But if it's just Kiriwo and Bao, that's not too bad. There's only two of them. Wait, bubble tea? Bubble tea, but it's eyeball tea? Eiko! Eiko and Dragon Girl. Still, he's right there! Eiko's never gonna get the spotlight, huh? She's just always gonna have like 10 seconds of off-screen time just to simp for Iruma and nothing happens beyond that. 
you still trust him, huh? He knows he's a good guy. I mean, the size that Iruma has seen, ob obviously he would believe him he's a good guy. But his goals might not be as clear as you think. No, when he shows me this like smiling innocent face, man, he's really gonna get betrayed and hurt. This is gonna actually suck so much. But this is important for his personal development. He can't just be this timid, you know, innocent, pure kid. I hope that he gets to retain these qualities, but a little bit of betrayal, you know, grows the character, I guess. Secret room again. What are you gonna- you just gonna throw it down there? Like, what are you gonna do with that thing? Grudge. Ambition is a dream, a goal, but a grudge against, like, the people that look down on him because his magic ranking is so low? Completely rotten on the inside. So... He's warped to all hell, but he's straightforward. He keeps an innocent smiling face, but it's all twisted inside. Who's the grudge against? All the masses that kind of look down on him because of his ranking? Well, is Bao just using him as a pawn? Like, he'll let Kitty will do everything, and then Bao just kind of just like, oh, his eyes turn, his eye pupil change for a second, but I guess he's borrowing Bao's energy, and Bao won't do anything to keep his, you know, hands clean. And let Kitty will be the fall man? Also, Lash just is fucking... How many lips to... She just fucking caking that shit on! Rainbow color! <laughs> Lashes. Who is the vengeance against? Who is it? Is it really just people that bullied you because of your ranking? Necklace is shattered. The energy is released. Sullivan noticed immediately. How much energy was in there? It's causing like an earthquake. Holy sh! And then what? What, what? what about the shell? Oh no, the the shopkeeper. Someone save them, Sabro? Okay, cause I don't know. He's tall, right? So I thought he'd be uncovering it. Good job, Sabro. <laughs> Sabro's popularity going up. Yo, Asmodeus got some fucking competition now. A release of magic. Cause blocks a barrier. They're already locked out. Invisible too, right? You should notice what this ability is. We spent an entire episode explaining what it was. It's almost as if there's a barrier. An invisible barrier. Hold up! Who else has this ability and just happens to be not here at this moment? So we're separated from, you know, Osmodius and Clara already. Iruma is just kind of alone right now, but this is gonna be tricky. How do we get out? I don't know. Can we break it? So what what happens to the shell? Cause like if you drop it outside, obviously it's not gonna do any damage because of the nature of a barrier. And that's the episode. But like if you drop the shell inside, then if it explodes within, everything contained within the barrier is fucked. And if that's Iruma in there. His dodging does nothing. How do you dodge an explosion that you cannot dodge, right? Things are getting very... Does anybody have a portal-like skill? Kind of teleportation. I'm trying to think. Clara has just pouches that just have infinite storage, but that's not really a... You know, that might be a portal somewhere, but it's not like us teleporting outwards. Things are finally starting to ramp up, though. And I guess I have to kind of give up on... You know, in the beginning of the episode, in the intro, I said... I haven't given up on Kitty Will just yet. Maybe he's being misled. Maybe he's being foolish. And he's getting, you know, tricked by Bal. I still think that he might be still getting tricked by Bal. But there's something more sinister within Kitty Will. A grudge that's been harboring the entire time. I don't know. There is a scene where Kitty Will's eyes starts, like... Is it dilating or contracting? But it turns into, like, a... It, it changes when Bal is, like, talking to him and telling him that, like... Release your energy. It does seem like Bal definitely does control Kitty Will to an extent, but... And he keeps touching his earpiece. That ear, the, the purple thing in his ear, that's... That, that has to be something, right? That can't just be a random decoration, because he's been... He's been always going like this, and there's been a focus to that the entire time. So, the bell has rung, the fireworks. I hope that we can still do the fireworks after this, and everybody can see it. Maybe the fireworks is how we save the day. I don't really know. Sullivan, I'm sure, will show up later, just in time to see Iruma get all the credit, but I don't think... Like, it'd be cheap for Sullivan to come solve this. It's really up to us to solve this right now, but we still have the acting chair demon Kalego and his junior around. 
And Amity is Student Council Club too, right? Can Kiryu really cause an attack on Babylus just by himself? Like if Bal, I, I don't think Bal's gonna join in, dude. I, I I don't know. I really feel like Bal's being very sneaky. He just you know sending Kiryu to do his dirty deeds for him, and he's just gonna hide behind the scenes, and Kiryu's gonna end up taking the fall at the end. Will Yuma be able to convince him otherwise? Will Yuma be able to convince him? You know these grudges that you might hold toward everyone else because of. The, the fucked up ranking system here where everybody kind of looks down upon everybody if you're not the same rank or above the power gap closing though it's <sighs> maybe maybe the idealistic Giruma can do talk no jutsu his way and convince Kiribo to consider otherwise but if the shell is gone then we don't have fireworks at our, at our disposal right I'm still thinking about the fireworks rather than the fucking the main event happening right now, which is the battle on Babylus. But finally, we're getting to our first secret, no, first serious arc. And goddamn, it's taking a sweet time to build up, but that's important. Setup is important so the payoff can be even greater. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other playlists and videos in my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps you to go push that my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.